the server is ready now let us create the client to create the client we have to create a new JSON form let us name it as log client Here, here we have to place two text boxes, same to text field, one text field is for user ID and a password field for the password. user ID and password. I like query and place a button with the text and login. Change the variable for name for the text field and the password field. User ID and box work. And now, before that, we have to create an instance for our interface, which is log.java. Log, log. Now let us write the code to call the method. Double click the button. Simple. Here is my cache block. First, we have to locate the server. Okay, call the registry. Call to locate. Registry dot. Get registry. Get the one one two seven point zero point one. And the port number is one zero double nine. And that's it. Fix the imports. Now let us call the log, which is the interface to locate the server. Equal to naming dot lookup. And the server name is log server. That's it. Of course, I have named the server as log server. Now let us call the method. I already said you it returns a boolean type data. So I will declare a boolean set equal to log dot execute. And the parameters are user ID dot get this get the text which we have entered in the user ID field and password dot get text and that's it. If it is true. So a message as is a valid user. And let us specify the name before that. Dot text. 
and of course it invoke the meta or a place on the server to specify anything else not at all and this is what I have given here summary my password fine right and this is how we can make a remote call from a JFrame thank you just like and subscribe